Hello dear students, myself CMA Padmaja Buzruk, I will discuss accounts of joint stock companies. Please go to study note number 1, accounting of shares and debentures. I will explain few illustrations. Illustration 11, Hero Limited issued 10,000 equity shares of Rs 100 each at a premium of 25 per share. So, number of shares issued are 10,000 and issue price is 100 plus 25, 125. Shares are issued at premium. Under the terms of the issue, the shares were to be paid for as follows. On 1st Jan, on application, rupees 50, including rupees 25 premium per share. So 25 rupees premium is with application. Application is 50. So out of this 50, 25 should go to capital and 25 should go to securities premium. February 1st on allotment 50 and April 1st balance 25. So on application 50 including 25 premium on allotment 50 and on first and final call 25 that is how this 125 company has called. The issue was oversubscribed. The applications received are summarized below. Number of applicants in categories. There are three categories A, B and C. In A category there are 40 applicants. In B category there are 20 applicants. And C category there is only one applicant. In A category, each applicant is applied for 200 shares. In B category, each applicant is applied for 2000 shares. And in C category, only one applicant he has applied for 8000 shares. But number of shares issued or allotted in each category are in A category, 100 shares are issued to each applicant. In B category, 200 shares are issued to each applicant and in C category, 2000 shares are issued to each applicant. One of the condition of the issue was that amount overpaid on application were to be retained by the company and used in reduction of further sums due on shares allotted. All surplus contribution were refunded on 1st February 14. So the condition is that if the company receives more on application, then company will retain it. It will adjust further sums due on shares that is allotment and first and final call. After adjusting all the money due, if any surplus remains, then company is supposed to refund it on 1st February 14. Ramesh who had subscribed 100 on an application for 200 shares was unable to meet the claim due on 1st April. So Ramesh was applied for 200 shares and he has been allotted 100 shares. He was unable to meet the claim due on 1st April. Now what is the amount due on 1st April? On 1st April, only call money is due which is 25 rupees per share which he has failed to pay. He is in category A. He has applied for 200 shares whereas he has been allotted 100 shares. And he has not paid the money which was due on 1st April that is call money he has not paid. On May 5, directors forfeited his shares, that means director forfeited his 100 shares. All other shareholders paid the sums requested on the due dates. On June 10, the directors reissued the forfeited shares. These 100 forfeited shares directed reissued on 10th June as fully paid to Mohan on receiving a payment of rupees 10,500. So, on reissue of these 100 shares, company has received 10,500 rupees. You are required to prepare a statement as on February 1st showing the overpayment, underpayment to 
in respect of category of applicants and to show how about transactions would appear in journal of the company so on 1st february company will refund if any excess amount is received after adjusting allotment and call and that is the reason why they have asked you to prepare statement on 1st february now see how this statement is to be prepared there are three categories a b and c in category a number of applications received are 8000 in category b number of applications received are 40000 in category c number of applications received are 8000 we'll go back and see this in category a number of applicants are 40 and each applicant has applied for 200 shares so 40 into 200 so many applications they have received in category b there are 20 applicants and each applicant has applied for 2000 shares so 20 into 2000 and in category c only one applicant and he has applied for 8000 shares so number of shares in applied for or number of applications received in category a 40 into 200 that is 8000 in category b 20 into 2000 that is 40000 applications they have received and category c only one applicant and he applied for 8000 shares so they have received 8000 applications how many shares are allotted we'll go back in category a for each applicant 100 shares are allotted so 40 into 100 those many number of shares are issued in category b 20 into 200 each applicant had applied for 2000 shares but he has been allotted only 200 shares and in category c only one applicant he applied for 8000 shares but they have issued him 2000 shares so 40 into 100 4000 20 into 200 4000 one into 2000 is 2000 so how many total number of applications they have received 8000 plus 40000 plus 8000 that is 56000 how many shares are issued how many shares are allotted 4000 plus 4000 plus 2000 that is 10000 now we'll see application money received 8000 applications they have received in category a 40000 in b and 8000 in category c these many applications they have received along with the application they have received 50 rupees per application so application money received is 50 multiplied by 8000 40000 8000 that is 4 lakhs 20 lakhs and 4 lakhs but what is application money required in category a only 4000 shares are allotted 4000 shares are issued category b also 4000 shares are issued and category c 2000 shares are issued so money required on application is 50 into 4000 50 into 4000 and 50 into 2000 so 2 lakh 2 lakh and 1 lakh so in category a they have received application money 4 lakh whereas required on application money was only 2 lakh so excess received on application is 2 lakhs in category b they have received 20 lakhs as application money but application money required was only 2 lakh so excess received is 18 lakhs 20 minus 2 whereas in category c they have received 4 lakhs with application but application money required were only 1 lakh so 3 lakhs is excess so after adjusting application money this is the excess they have in all the three categories now next is allotment money due allotment money due on each and every share is 50 so 50 multiplied by 4000 4000 2000 so allotment money due in all the three categories is 2 lakhs 2 lakhs 1 lakhs in case of category a they already have 2 lakh excess 
required on allotment is also 2 lakh. So after adjusting allotment, nothing is left, no excess, it is 0. So in category A, they have received 4 lakh, 4000 shares are issued. So with this 4 lakh, application money and allotment money gets adjusted. After adjusting this, no balance remains. In category B, allotment money due is 2 lakhs, excess is 18 lakhs. So after adjusting allotment, 16 lakhs remains. That is, they have received 20 lakhs with application, 2 lakhs required for application, 2 lakhs required for allotment, 2 lakhs plus 2 lakhs, 4 lakhs. 20 lakhs minus 4 lakhs is 16 lakhs is excess after adjusting allotment in category B. Whereas in category C, they have received 4 lakh with application. Application money required is 1 lakh. Allotment money required is 1 lakh. So 4 lakhs minus 1 lakh minus 1 lakh. After adjusting allotment, 2 lakh still excess remains. Now this excess in category B and C can be used for call money and if still excess remains it is to be refunded back. Now call money due is at the rate of 25 per share so 25 into 4000, 4000 and 2000. Call money due in category A is 1 lakh, in category B is 1 lakh and in category C is 50,000. In case of category A, there is no excess remain. So entire 1 lakh, they have to ask shareholders to pay entire 1 lakh. Whereas in category B, they have 16 lakhs extra. So 1 lakh call money easily can get adjusted. So 16 lakhs minus 1 lakh, 15 lakh remain excess, which is to be refunded back on 1st of Feb. In category C also, 2 lakhs is excess after adjusting application and allotment. Call money due is 50,000. So 2 lakh minus 50,000, 1 lakh 50,000 is excess after adjusting call. So 15 lakhs and 1 lakh 50,000, total 16 lakhs 50,000 is to be refunded back. Now we will see journal entries. Applications received are 56,000. Shares issued are 10,000. Issued capital is 10,000. 8,000 plus 40,000 plus 8,000. 56,000 applications they have received. Shares allotted are 4,000, 4,000, 2,000. That is 10,000. Along with 56,000 applications, they have received 50 rupees per application. Bank account debit to equity share application account 28 lakhs, 56,000 into 50. Now, 10,000 is issued capital, shares issued are 10,000, shares allotted are 10,000. So, all your journal entries, you have to consider 10,000. So, 10,000 into 25 would go to capital and 10,000 into 25 would go to securities premium. Equity share application account debit 10,000 into 50, 5 lakhs to equity share capital 10,000 into 25, 2 lakhs 50,000 to securities premium 10,000 into 25, 2 lakhs 50,000. Now, equity share application to bank excess money refunded. We have seen this table in category B. 15 lakhs is excess in category C 1 lakh 50,000 is excess total excess is 16 lakhs 50,000 so equity share application to bank 16 lakhs 50,000 this is refunded equity share application account debit 6 lakhs 50,000 to equity share allotment to calls in advance calls in arrears is wrongly printed here either you should have calls in advance or first and final call. So this we'll see allotment 5 lakhs and calls 1 lakh 50,000. We'll go back to the table. 
सी अलॉटमेंट मनी ड्यू टू लैक्स टू लैक्स एंड वन लैक्स फाइव लैक्स एंटायर फाइव लैक दे हैव रिसीव्ड विथ एप्लीकेशन वेर एज एज रिगार्ड्स कॉल ओनली वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दे हैव रिसीव्ड विथ एप्लीकेशन इन एज रिगार्ड्स कैटेगरी ए एक्सेस इज नील सो एंटायर वन लैक कॉल इज ड्यू सो वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दिस इज एडवांस एंड फाइव लैक्स इज एडवांस अलॉटमेंट गेट्स एडजस्टेड विथ एप्लीकेशन मनी टू लैख प्लस टू लैख प्लस वन लैख फॉर अलॉटमेंट एंड वन लैख प्लस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फॉर कॉल सो इक्विटी शेयर एप्लीकेशन अकाउंट डेबिट सिक्स लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू इक्विटी शेयर अलॉटमेंट टू कॉल्स इन एडवांस नाउ इफ यू सी हियर इक्विटी शेयर एप्लीकेशन इज क्रेडिटेड विथ ट्वेंटी एट लैक्स नाउ इफ यू एड दिस इक्विटी शेयर एप्लीकेशन अकाउंट डेबिट फाइव लैक्स इन द नेक्स्ट एंट्री सिक्सटीन लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड शेयर एप्लीकेशन डेबिट एंड इन द थर्ड एंट्री इक्विटी शेयर एप्लीकेशन डेबिट सिक्स लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो इफ यू एड दिस यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी एट लैक्स सिक्सटीन लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्स लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री लैक्स प्लस फाइव लैक्स इज ट्वेंटी एट लैक्स सो इक्विटी शेयर एप्लीकेशन अकाउंट बिकम्स नील आफ्टर दिस एंट्री नाउ यू हैव टू शो अलॉटमेंट मनी ड्यू इक्विटी शेयर अलॉटमेंट टू इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ऑन टेन थाउजेंड शेयर्स फिफ्टी इज ड्यू सो दिस ड्यू एंट्री यू हैव टू पास एंड फर्स्ट एंड फाइनल कॉल ड्यू equity share first and final call to equity share capital at the rate of 25 have they received whatever was due on call in case of category a one shareholder who was having 100 shares did not pay call money so bank account debit 97500 calls in arrears debit 2500 calls in advance debit One lakh fifty thousand to equity share first and final call two lakhs fifty thousand. One shareholder having hundred shares did not pay call money twenty five per share, so it will go to calls in arrears. Out of two lakh fifty thousand, one lakh fifty thousand they have received in advance. Two thousand five hundred they have not received on hundred shares, so they have received only ninety seven thousand five hundred. so out of 10000 shares they have not received on 100 shares so amount received is only on 9900 shares at the rate of rupees 25 so here i have given you how it is to be calculated so they see this 97500 due was 2 lakhs 50000 out of that 1 lakh 50000 already received with application 2500 they have not received on 100 shares so amount received is 97500 now these 100 shares are forfeited equity share capital account debit 100 into 100 Hundred shares are forfeited. Amount called up is hundred, ten thousand. Two shares forfeited account hundred into seventy five seven thousand five hundred. Two calls in arrears hundred into twenty five two thousand five hundred. Shares forfeited account. Whatever is received on shares forfeited will go to shares forfeited account. application and allotment they have received application 25 plus 25 so 25 on account of capital in case of application and 50 of allotment 75 they have received and 25 rupees first and final call they have not received which gets transferred to calls in arrears they have reissued these shares at 10500 so have received 
10,500 which is to be debited to bank account. Bank account debit 10,500 to equity share capital 10,000 to securities premium 500. Capital is always to be credited with face value. 10,000 is nothing but 100 shares reissued face value is 100, 100 into 100. But they have received 10,500, 500 extra which gets transferred to securities premium account. Now, shares forfeited account 7,500 gets closed by transferring it to capital reserve. Company has received 7,500 from the shareholder whose shares they have forfeited. Company is not going to refund it back. It is company's profit. And entire shares are reissued. These reissue it as premium. So this 7500 gets transferred to capital reserve. Shares forfeited account debit 7500 to capital reserve 7500. Now we will go to next illustration. Illustration 12. JK Limited is a company with an authorized capital of 10 lakhs in equity shares of rupees 10 each of which 6 lakhs shares had been issued and fully paid on 30th June 18. So authorized capital is 10 lakh shares of 10 each out of that 6 lakhs shares they have already issued and they have received the amount on 30 June. The company proposed to make a further issue of 1 lakh of these rupee 10 shares at a price of 14 each the arrangements for payment being rupee 2 per share payable on application to be received on 1st July 18 allotment to be made on 10th July and a further rupee 5 per share including premium to be payable the final call for the balance to be made and the money received by 31st Jan 19 so you don't have to bother about 6 lakhs. Company has issued 6 lakhs and they have fully received on 30th June. But further they have issued 1 lakh shares of 10 each at 14. So 4 rupees is premium. And it is in these installments application, allotment and first and final call. On application rupees 2, on allotment rupees 5 including premium, premium is 4. So it is 1 plus 4. And final call balance 5 plus 2 is 7 14 minus 7 is 7 so on first and final call balance rupees 7 applications were received for 3,55,000 shares so they have received 3,55,000 applications whereas just now we have seen issued capital is just 1 lakh so 2,55,000 extra applications they have received. Applicants for 5,000 shares received allotment in full. Applicants for 30,000 shares received an allotment of one share for every two applied for. No money was returned to the applicant. The surplus on application being used to reduce amount due on allotment. So first a lot of 5000 applications they have allotted 5000 shares 5000 shares are issued next lot of 30000 applications they have allotted shares in the ratio 2 is to 1 so if they receive two applications one share is allotted so for 30000 shares fifth applications 30000 share applications 15000 shares are allotted and whatever surplus they have received is used to reduce the amount due on allotment. Applicants for 3,20,000 shares received an allotment of one share for every four applied for. Then in the third slot they have received 3,20,000 applications but shares issued shares allotted are in the ratio 4 is to 1 that is if the person applies for four shares he has been allotted only one share. The money due on allotment was retained by the company, excess being returned to applicant. So whatever company has received excess money 
that excess money company has adjusted only allotment they have not adjusted first and final call after adjusting allotment excess money is returned to applicant the money due on final call was received on due date so there is no default whatever was due on final call they have received you are required to record these transactions in the journal of jk limited now see this is how table is to be prepared they have received 355000 applications issued capital is 1 lakh in first slot they have received 5000 applications 5000 shares are issued 5000 shares are allotted so no question of rejection and pro rata allotment in the second slot second category 30000 applications are received ratio is 2 is to 1 Fifteen thousand shares are issued or allotted. No refund, no rejection. Fifteen thousand shares pro rata allotment. They have received application money on thirty thousand applications, but shares allotted are fifteen thousand. Excess fifteen thousand application money received get adjusted towards allotment. In the third category, third slot, three lakh twenty thousand applications are received. Shares are allotted in the ratio four is to one, so eighty thousand shares are allotted. Three lakh twenty thousand minus eighty thousand, two lakh forty thousand pro rata allotment. So if you add these number of applications received in first slot, second slot, and third lot, total number of applications received are three lakh fifty five thousand, whereas shares allotted are one lakh. Three lakh fifty five thousand minus one lakh. Two lakh fifty-five thousand pro rata allotment. Now see this table. Applications received five thousand in first category, thirty thousand in second category, three lakh twenty thousand in third category. Total number of applications received are three lakh fifty-five thousand. Now, what is application money received with this application at the rate of two per application? Five thousand into two, ten thousand. Thirty thousand into two, sixty thousand. Three lakh twenty thousand into two, six lakhs forty thousand. Total money received on application is seven lakhs ten thousand. How many shares are allotted? Five thousand. First category fifteen thousand. Second category eighty thousand. Third category total number of shares allotted are one lakh. So what is application money required on these shares allotted? Five thousand into two is ten thousand. Fifteen thousand into two is thirty thousand. Eighty thousand into two is one lakh sixty thousand. This is required. So what is excess? You need to find out. Find out the difference in these two. Excess is nil. Sixty thousand received with application, but required on application is only thirty thousand because shares allotted are fifteen thousand. So excess received with application is thirty thousand, and in the third category six lakhs forty thousand minus one lakh sixty thousand, four lakh eighty thousand they have received excess with application. Now what is allotment money required at the rate of rupees five? Five thousand into five twenty five thousand, fifteen thousand into five seventy five thousand. And eighty thousand into five four lakhs. This is allotment money required. In category A, nothing is excess. So entire, they have to ask shareholders to pay twenty five thousand. In category B, see here, allotment money required is seventy five thousand, but they have thirty thousand excess. Received on application, so they will ask shareholders to pay only forty-five thousand. In category C, four lakh eighty thousand is excess. Allotment money required is four lakh, so shareholders need not pay allotment money. After adjusting allotment, eighty thousand will remain, and this is to be refunded back. Eighty thousand. They won't adjust call with this. So eighty thousand is to be refunded back. So what is amount due on allotment in case of first slot, first category twenty five thousand, 
in case of second slot 45000 is due on allotment 75000 minus 30000 which they have already received with application total is 70000 and in case of third slot third category after adjusting application and allotment 80000 still remains which will be refunded back now we'll see journal entries bank account debit to share application just now we have seen this on 3,55,000 applications they have received 7,10,000 at the rate of rupees 2 bank account debit to share application 7,10,000 3,55,000 into 2 equity share application account debit 7,10,000 to equity share capital 2 lakhs shares allotted are 1 lakh into 2 to equity share allotment 4,30,000 to bank 80,000. Adjustment of allotment 4,30,000, 80,000 is refunded back. 80,000 is refunded back and this is 4,30,000. In case of second category, 30,000 excess they have received with application which is adjusted for allotment and in case of category C or third slot, 4 lakh allotment they are adjusting. So total adjustment for allotment is 4 lakh 30,000 and 80,000 is refunded back. So equity share application to equity share capital to equity share allotment to bank. Allotment money due, equity share allotment to equity share capital to securities premium 1 lakh into 1 would go to capital 1 lakh into 4 would go to securities premium. Premium amount is 4 rupees. Bank to allotment 70,000. 70,000 was due on allotment. From first slot 25,000. From second slot 45,000. Total 70,000. Whatever was due has been received. Equity share final call to equity share capital. Final call due. Bank to equity share final call, final call received. Whatever was due has been received, there is no default. In this video, we have seen two illustrations. So, I have explained you how excess money received with application is to be adjusted. When it is given that all calls to be adjusted, then you have to do accordingly in one question we have adjusted entire installments that is allotment and call but in one installment they have asked us to refund back after allotment so we have not adjusted call money we have shown that it was refunded thank you